Hi, I'm Neil Redfern and in this video I'm going to talk about Facebook and why, as well as I think it's a really great tool, it can also, if we're not careful, be quite a disheartening place for wedding photographers. Before getting to the main points, I just want to start by saying that the reason I'm making this video is because I've spoken to a few photographers recently, the majority of whom are just starting out in the wedding photography industry, who have lost quite a bit of confidence in themselves through what they've seen on Facebook, and I think that's a real shame. So I'm hoping that this video will help those people, and if you felt similar yourself, you too. Well, let me start by saying that this is in no way me having a go at Facebook, not at all. Were it not for Facebook, my business wouldn't be where it is today. Facebook had really helped with my business, especially when I was first starting out and it was so much easier to get good reach on posts because I know that I used to receive quite a few bookings as a direct result of posting photographs to my Facebook page. And even now, it can still be an amazing way to get your work out there and promote yourself. It's just that whereas in the past you could do this for free, to get good reach now and a good response on Facebook, you now have to spend money boosting posts and paying for adverts. I personally don't have a problem that Facebook now charge businesses to boost their posts and give them a wider reach. Obviously I preferred it when it was completely free, as I'm sure we all did, but I think it's fair enough that they charge now. I mean, they are a business after all. There are still ways in which you can use Facebook though to promote yourself for free. It's it's not as easy and instant as it used to be. Also, Facebook was and still is a brilliant way of getting in touch and building relationships with other wedding suppliers. I know that I've got to know lots of wedding suppliers and other photographers through talking to them first over Facebook before meeting up and becoming good friends in real life. And that's still the case now. I also love Facebook groups. They can be an excellent way to learn and engage with other people. And the groups themselves can become really great communities. I'm a part of quite a few Facebook groups, which I feel I really benefit from. For me, groups are actually the best part of Facebook. My own Facebook group, for example, for people who've been on my workshops, has grown into a really great and positive community, and I'm really proud of that. So Facebook is still an excellent tool for us as wedding photographers, and it's something that I think we should all definitely be using. However, over the past few months, I've become more aware of a side of Facebook which can lead to us doubting ourselves and our businesses, especially for those of us who run our own businesses and who work on our own. When you do work on your own, and in particular, if you don't have a good network of other photographers around you who you are friends with and who you can trust to talk about your business with, then Facebook can give you a quite an unrealistic view of other photographers' businesses. And if you believe all what you see online, then you'll naturally start to compare yourself to those unrealistic statements which you see. And that's when it can really start to hurt your confidence. So as wedding photographers, there's a high likelihood that a large number of the people we interact with on Facebook will also be wedding photographers. That means that posts made by other photographers will often come up on our feeds. That's just how the Facebook algorithm works. Now, to many photographers, Facebook is the primary way in which they sell themselves, and there's nothing wrong at all with that. And the way in which they do that will be to put out posts such as, wow, I'm nine cent bucks for the year already, or can't believe how many inquiries I've had already. I've won this award, I've won that award. Now, I totally understand why photographers uh, sometimes choose to make posts like that. And if posts like that work for them, then brilliant. They should obviously continue to do that. But I know that other photographers, and I know this because I've spoken to them, can sometimes see these posts and they start worrying that their business isn't doing as well. And that can really start to affect their confidence which I think, as someone who likes to help other photographers, is just a real shame. It's very easy to read all these posts and compare them to your own business, and oftentimes it can leave you feeling really disheartened, because maybe you aren't fully booked like the other photographer is claiming. But the thing to remember is that most of the salesy type posts are just that. They're posts which are designed to promote and sell that photographer. I dare say most of them aren't even true. 
So I know it's not easy, but always try to not compare yourselves when you see these types of messages and don't let them reflect on where you are as a photographer and where your business is. And this is where I think social media can be really quite damaging. If you take all what you see and what you hear on Facebook and Instagram at face value, it's the same with images. If you're the same as me, whenever you open Facebook or Instagram, you'll be bombarded with incredible wedding photographs, which are just amazing. But again, it's important to remember that what we generally see online is just the very, very best 1% of everyone's work. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. And I, know, and I know that that's what I do because I only want to show the absolute best of my best work. And there's nothing wrong with that. But just remember that the other 95% of the images which most photographers deliver to their bride and grooms are not going to be as wow or not going to be as epic as what you see on Facebook. We know our own work inside out and it's impossible for us to deliver 500 award-winning images to every bride and groom. And we know that we personally aren't doing that but Facebook, through the messages that we're being shown, can have us believing that we should be. And if we don't, then we aren't as talented as everyone that we see online. But we, that's just not true. The best thing to do is concentrate on yourself and your business. And if you're happy with your own growth and your development, then give yourself a massive pat on the back and be proud of what you've achieved know that you're going in the right direction. The happier we are with ourselves and in our own work, the better we will become and the more enjoyment we'll get from this amazing job. Positivity will always beat negativity. The moment we start to compare ourselves against what we see on Facebook is really the moment that we're going to start doubting ourselves and comparing well against many of the statements that we see on Facebook is going to be almost impossible because many of them just aren't true. Social media can be amazing for us as wedding photographers. Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, they all allow us the ability to put our work out there instantly and that's incredible and I know that I'm massively grateful for that. But just remember that we all do this for the same reason and that's to promote ourselves. It's just marketing. So always try and remember that. What we, what we are seeing on Facebook often isn't real. The images which we see are the absolute best of the best. The statements that we see are most likely often not really true. So if this is something that you can relate to and maybe you've doubted yourself and your business in the past because of it, what's the best thing to do? Well, my advice would be firstly to try to remember that so much of what we see on social media is just smoke and mirrors. Most of us, certainly when it comes to promoting our own businesses, only post about the positives. And why would we not? I know I do that but it's a fake reality. So just like any other business out there, we airbrush our achievements, just like magazines do with the models that they put on the cover. We just have to remember that and not take everything that we see as being the literal truth. Because the reality is that those people who are genuinely successful and really are doing well with wedding bookings, just don't have the need to shout about it online. They never do that. So please, my advice is try not to compare yourself with all these messages and status updates that you often will see on Facebook. Comparing ourselves takes our attention away from our own business. And we have no control over what other people do, but we do have complete control over what we do and how we build our own businesses and become better photographers. So it's far, far better for us to put all of our time and all of our energy into ourselves. And from my experience, one of the best things to do is to try and build a group of local photographer friends who you can meet up with regularly and talk to about your business open and honestly. The more honest we are with other photographers, it's often in person, the more, the more honest they will be with us. And I'm sure that you'll feel so much better when speaking to photographers who are being really, really honest with you about the state of their businesses, because I'm sure it'll make you realize that you're probably doing far better than you realize. Because I'm sure when you do this, you'll realize that the majority all have the same feelings as you do, and it will give you a much more realistic view of how you're doing, and you'll gain some awesome friends in the process. So the next time you close down Facebook, just ask yourself, and I include me in this as well, Overall, was that past five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, was it worth it? Did I gain anything to really benefit me from that session on Facebook? So even if it means turning Facebook off for a while, concentrate on yourself, shoot the way that you love, believe in yourself, 
and be proud of what you've achieved because I'm sure it is far, far better than you realise.